21st century. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement. There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. And Judge, I need to know whether you will be a justice who believes that the constitutional journey must continue to speak to these consequential decisions urged before, and a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement. There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. And Judge, I need to know whether you will be a justice who believes that the third movement, there's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, Mark, 21st century. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, Mark, my words, before your... Shalom, shalom, all praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. And um, through the spirit of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, you know, I'm in plantation right now, but I'm going to do this through the spirit of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai. And this is, uh, this is an old footage years ago when uh, Creepy Joe uh, was a senator, I think. And um, he was addressing this judge, chief judge, and um, and you heard it for yourself, man. I'm gonna be very careful with my words, you know, because you already know how the algorithm is on YouTube, you know, and um, you see it. And this was years ago, so this is nothing that just uh, that just was blossom out of thin air. No, this was something that's been been uh, being orchestrated, prepared, designed, blueprinted out for years. And now they have actually perfected it through the uh, left-hand side wisdom and technology that this devil has. That ultimately, the Heavenly Father has given them, man. But this is the same guy, and I'm going to be careful with my words. You, you see the caption, all right? You see the caption. This is the same guy that's contrary to the laws of Yahabba Shim Yahushai, man. Okay? You see the caption right here. All right? This is the devil. This is the wicked. He's the same one that said this. This is the wicked, brothers. You know what I'm saying? But see, all roads lead to this, brothers. All roads lead to the MOTB. All right? And this was on 2021 article. Should the Federal Reserve create a digital dollar? And I was reading this. And it was going into, you know, through gradualism, how they taking away certain bills, you know? And they they replaced it, you know, with different bills. And then Bitcoin came in and blockchain. And then from there... Uh, uh, the peg baskets, and then now what you call the CDC, the central bank uh, digital currency, and, and etc. So all roads lead to this, and it goes back to who? You think it's a coincidence that he was selected as the chief whatever, commander, president, and this man made that statement years ago, you know, about the MOTB, all right? So... You know, this is a long article, but it's, it's very important to know about these things, you know, and it goes into how the feds are, 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 are going to be able to do this. And they're already doing this. This is the whole purpose of the MOTB. This man has this man wants to own, you know, the world, you know, and. You go, you got these different uh, congregations out there, Israelite camps, man, that are bucking up against the MOTB. And, and you don't even see how plain this is out there. This is going to be a physical imprintment that these devils are going to try to plunger onto you, man, to make you a brand, all right? 
And this is and like the scriptures say, he has not enough. He's a greedy dog. That's in Psalm 73 because he's already enslaving you through the uh, adhesive uh, uh, written documents, unrighteous decrees. Now you got a social security card, your birth certificate. You know you got a you got a uh, you got a marriage license. You need a license for every goddamn thing in this place. This man wants to dock you. He wants to make see your every move. So now he has to enhance that now by putting you by putting that MOTB in you. So this is all leading back to this. Okay. So the CBDC, which is central banks digital currencies. Uh, be successful? Our analysts think so, of course. See, the feds and other central banks will need to reassure households and companies that their privacy will be appropriately and rigorously protected. But when it comes to legal, legal, legality, stability, and trust, the three main advantages of public sector systems, the Fed and the dollar score highly. As a result, it is our analysis view that the U.S. Central Bank should have few problems in achieving widespread use of a CBDC, at least domestically, if it determined that there was need for. So these, these, fat, hey, the, the whore, man, this, this is just, it's been prepared. Everything's coming in tuition. Everything is, the, the, the story's coming together. This man did vices. Him coming on with the central uh, bank uh, uh, digital currency, the feds, this, that. They know what they're doing. It's going to be a success for them. But like the scripture said, the Lord is going to uh, rain down on a parade, man. You know, and this is from the White House, .gov. Technical possibilities for U.S. central bank digital currency, man. And this was just on uh, last year, just a couple of months ago. You know, 2022, all right? And they're talking about it, all right? President uh, Joe, Creepy Joe, often summarizes vision for America in one word. Possibility, a digital dollar may seem far-fetched, but modern technology can make it a real possibility, all right? Make it a real possibility. No, it is going to happen. This is prophecy, all roads lead to the digital dollar to the MOTB and this is only for the house of faith this is why these men out here are bucking up against it because you're not more likely part of the elect you're not the men of the Lord that the Lord has set up all right in these last days to to, to guide and warn the sheep of the wolves all right? And those wolves are coming for you, man. And they come in a pack. All right? The military, FEMA. All right? Martial law, Esau with the great wrath. He's coming. And wait for it. But we're preparing spiritually. We're going to rely on Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. But this is what Joey Creep says. All right? A United States Central Bank digital currency would be a digital form of the U.S. dollar. This whole, this, this is how always been in preparation. They've been preparing for this for years. All right, they've been preparing this for years. They're gonna replace the dollar. What do you think? What's going on right now? Why do you think the elites are doing what they're doing? They're crashing the economy on purpose. The prophecy will be fulfilled. Habakkuk 2 and for the parable, the proverb, thick clay, debt, all right, has been prophesied and it will be fulfilled. This man, it's on its way down. This is the Lord's doing. This is his movie, all right? And this is coming. So let's go back to this and then uh, all roads lead to this, man. All roads lead to this. Our constitutional journey did not stop then, and it must not stop now, Judge. And we'll be faced with equally consequential decisions in the 21st century. Can 
a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement. There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. And Judge, I need to know what... Okay. All right, let's get some scriptures. You know, and... um. Revelation 11, Salaka, so Romans 11, all right? Israel is not cast away. And this time, it's talking about the elect. I say then, have the Most High cast away his people. God, the Most High, Yahweh forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin, God have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Woe ye not that the scriptures say of Elijah, how he make an intercession to the Most High Yahweh against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thy altars. And I am left alone and they seek my life. But what say? The answer of Yahweh unto him, I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed to the need to the image of Baal. And that number seven represents a completion number. The elect will not bow down to the image of Baal. In this words, into Esau. Esau is the modern Baal. All right, and he wants you, you people, and this is the way he's going to do it. He's going to subject you. He's going to make you submit by putting that memo TB in you, man, that karagma, so you can be a forever, ever slave to the, to the system of the beast, all right? The system of the beast. This is that old serpent, the old devil. He was a serpent. He became a dragon. And now he's a beast, all right? The system of the beast. But the elect, Yahweh Ratzah, the Lord, may he have mercy on us and help us over to overpower and overcome. They would not bow down to the image of Esau Baal, to the image of the Karagma, to the image of the image of the beast, the mark, nor his number. All right? Now when, when well now when you're going to bow, we understand that the true meaning of, of, of bow. Let's go, let's look at this word bow. Alright. Let's look at this word bow. The elect is not gonna bow their knee. Alright, they're not gonna submit to this system. We are not, we are not from this world, man. This is spiritual. To bend, bow the knees. Alright? And what is this devil's trying to do? He want to make sure he continue uh, 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 for you to, 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 to be his servant, his slaves. All right? In honor of religious to bow oneself. Okay? He wants to make you a complete servant to his system. All right? He wants to continue to feel like he's the blessed one. Now, when you go into the word blessed, right? It actually means here in the scripture, translate Hebrew to bend the knee, to worship. All right. So to be blessed is to to bend the knee. See, to be blessed. All right. The see the elect. We're not here to serve this devil and his system. We're here to serve Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh We're here to worship the Lord. We bend our knees and we pray. To Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, the true living power of Israel. Okay? But this devil is trying to make you bow to his image. Alright? No. We're going to bow our knee to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. And in the kingdom, like the scripture said, to the 12, you should sit on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. There's going to be ranks. The elect are going to be the top men. And they're going to have servants and slaves that they're going to, these same devils like Biden, 
these devils like Claus Schaub and all of them, they're going to bend their knees and reverence the elect. They're going to be our servants and slaves. And they know this. And this is why they're crying. This is why they're fighting tooth and nail. All right, a war cry against the, 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 the elect, the Israelites. This is why they want to put that karagma in you, man. All right? But no, not to the men of the Lord, man. But you got this guy, Adam Abbott, said, well, you know, you can repent. What is all this thing, Zabak, talking about you can take it out of your hand? All these different weird old doctrines. And you can see this devil getting ready to take out that sword and bring out that wrath to you men. And you men are going to regret it because you, you, you forsook the men of the Lord. You slandered them. You talk badly about them. You talk, you call them rapists, you know, and for what? And for what? How can you repent? The scripture said, Revelation 14 and verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. There's no repentance for this right here. You're going you're gonna to be destroyed when Yahweh returns. And you're going to have that spirit of anguish, the anguish of spirit. You're going to have that repentant spirit. And that's when you're going to realize it, but it's going to be too late. That's when you're going to realize it, man. When you start seeing the elect, the, elect, the Lord can make it where the elect, the members of the elect that may be in your area at that time, you can see them beamed up in the twinkling of an eye and you have not seen yourself uh, being beamed up. And you know right there and then that pit in your stomach, that hurtful crying and sobbing feeling of regretfulness, man. That's when you're going to know. But right now, no, you're full of vain glory. You're full of hype. You're full of popularity, subscribers. You're full of your, your own pride. Man, it's coming. All praises to Yah, Shalom, brothers.